Adam and Alex are having the time of their lives out there, and I don't think they're the only ones. There's about 6,000 screaming fans here in Portugal that have been having a ton of fun all day long. It's been absolutely amazing here, and what a game to finish things off. We've got Dust2, one of the most exciting maps to cast. Astralis versus Na'Vi. We just hope the latter turn up. Astralis looking like they're going to take another trophy home, considering the map, but the way Simple and Electronic are playing so far, it all could change. 2018 has been one hell of a year. This could be the final map of it all. It's Simple with the P250 once again challenging towards those middle doors. No real damage inflicted just yet as they set up for the default here. Astralis tried to challenge at the start, but they can't take him down just yet. Could be and will be, in fact, the final map of it all, Henry, as this is all the play for. Simple already back toward middle spot. Two crossings, so actually some information that they're holding on the mid side. It's to and Glaive. Zipix holding on a main. He's actually up toward Goose with the vice down below. So it's not what you'll see with the gun rounds. It's not the default. Late and away boost. Is this spotted? Not me putting bullets that direction. They go up late. A little bit of damage, no kill. Headshot couldn't be found from Dupree, but it's back over toward A. And this is where Zipix has to be perfect. It's device out behind the boxes. Dupree, he's down below. He gets all three bombs dropped. That could be the round in itself. 58 seconds, and all they have to do is protect the bomb. Not to mention a flank. Glaives on the scene. Claiming it long, no chance. Dupree, what a round four kills. What a mess from Na'Vi. What was that Molotov about? I'm not sure if it clipped the part of the wall, but that was designed to go on the bomb site and make a player uncomfortable. If anything, it just blocked their path towards the site. Dupree, great job there. Fantastic work. These are not easy shots to hit, and he nails every single one. It's a fantastic start, and that bomb being dropped down to there. That was round over at that point. What a beast. He manages to get four, looking very comfortable, and it has to be the full eco now for Na'Vi. 1-0 Astralis, three rifles coming out, and a couple of SMGs to farm that money. Device brings out the MP5, MP9, which is the improved version of the gun, despite the nostalgia in the hands of Zipix. Doesn't sound as cool, though, does it? No. It's all that matters. Really take note. Glaive takes down Simple. Players remaining, and five of them being on one side. That's being Astralis, so just play now at this point. Pretty straightforward, Dupree's killing it. He's now up to six kills, two rounds in. Make that seven. Running rampant on Dust2. Deagle from Electronic Device has enough of that. He'll actually go upgrade his pistol onto it, because why not? Free weaponry. But two nothing, and no bomb plants. On the cusp of a purchase, but it's not a great one from Navi, so pistols could be an option for them. No, of course not. They're going to go straight to the AKs, not bother with an AWP. Well, there it is, AK-47s. Remember, Astralis will have the MP9, but device brings out the AWP. If you have clean rounds, this is certainly an option. And on the T side, though, will they take this long spawn? It looks like they absolutely will. It's going to be flaming to lead the charge, but the AWP is waiting for him on the other side. Smoke down is decent, and it means device can't get the pick. You can see him looking away from his screen while he was flashed, hoping he could find the kill blind and through the smoke. It's ambitious, but it doesn't work out for him. They'll lose one player on the blue bin here for any sort of long retakes coming through as Zeus. Really did struggle on that previous map. Needs to post numbers here, like he did in the first. Let's see if they can pull it back here and get the 2-1. Device is all built. Dust 2. Scary, scary prospect. Zeus. Desperately close to spotting Dupree. In fact, they will get a vision of him when he jumps backwards. It was electronic that did most of the damage, but... He goes down to 36, has to rotate over inside of the site directly, but just will hold back side. Likely be the one to peer out the window should they put pressure in mid. Interesting late cat boost going on right now as well. Device holding the angle, they'll get Zipix up directly. So he's a little bit quicker on the case with the MP9. And he's got electronic around the corner. Device off angle used to be possible in the old version as well. What a flash, that's brilliant. Device couldn't hit the shot, and Zipix, despite having the knowledge they were coming, could do nothing with it. So smoke down, self-preservation from Device. Wants to find that angle toward Cat. It didn't really work out the way he wanted it to. I think he wanted to get out on top of the box. He's actually bigger under it, perhaps. But he still has an angle to play with. Not quite. Electronic has that instead. Simple's got play. Guns working well for Navi. Really nice round there from Navi, actually. 
doing that nice bit of damage towards Dupree at the start. That sent him packing at the mid position. They get short control. They have long as well. Remember that smoke towards the corner with Device missed the shot, had to give it that position. Now that is a textbook dust to play. If you can get short control and indeed long, the focus the CTs to stay on the A-bomb. So we talked about this before, that pincer maneuver. If you can apply pressure from long and short with decent utility, you should be winning that round of five players up. Na'Vi don't miss a beat. They hit every single shot. Simple now has the AWP and it's Astralis to have to save weapons. It's going to be Dupree and Magus holding on to their M4s, and I'm not sure they're going to be leaving with them as we hold in T-Spawn here. That is going to be Dupree. He probably gets one, but he's being traded up for sure. There's the first. The trade should be coming in. If he gets all three, that's a nightmare. There is the trade, though, and it's just going to be Magus holding all the way outside B. So, very, very good round from Na'Vi. We didn't see anything like that in their last approach against Liquid last week. It seemed like T-Side was an absolute nightmare for them. But that's much better as we get into it now. Round four, there is enough to purchase the AWP. Dupree, eight and one right now, with the four kills in that pistol. He has the orb. Now, does he have a decent spawn for long? That would be my guess, and he does. So there it is. He's going to try and challenge that long spawn. Flame, he's got it. Has he been given the orb? He has not. He has got the AK as shots are rattled through. It's Dupree this time trying to find success here. Dupree. Find the shot out. Flamey manages to cross over as a result of a bit of the utility. A lot of it, in fact. Five flashes thrown in that direction. Guesstimate, I think it was slightly less, but either way, Glaive, this is clever. They've gotten long. Two players committed to the cross and the boost, which you've talked about. You can boost there now. That handle, in fact, you can even play. But he wants to take advantage of that by going all the way up middle. Zeus the only one going backwards. Glaive needs to be very careful of underpass. And you can see he likes checks the lower tunnels as a result. Doesn't want to swing to the barrels. Zeus even considering this. Look, peering that direction, using the car for cover. If Glaive went to barrels, you'd almost favor the AK to find the headshot instead. Swinging suicide would be an interesting opposition, but Glaive's going to go. Right time. Zeus is there. He's spotted from lower, though. That means he's got to fight forward. He'll take down Zeus. Everyone at long aware of his position, but he could even be even more pestering than that. Chose to stay. I was going to say if he ran back to T-Spawn and just waited to see where the rotations went. Instead, it's going to be Edward and Electronic to find kills. Three on four in favor of Na'Vi. Only just 7 HP is the difference. Well, as Dupree, remember, he's got the orb, not device. He holds on the A side, but it's that same pressure that's available. But actually, four players commit towards long. Now, you better hope they have a couple of smokes hit across. They'll have to flash over, and there is the second smoke. So they're going to find a nice clean entry towards the bomb site here. Dupree has to get towards Gandalf and hold for the best at this point. He needs multiple frags. The only way they win this round if he takes down two while they try and go for the plan at this day. There's the first attempt. Can't nail it. It's going to be his teammate. Has to try and pick up the pieces here. Zibes can do nothing with it. Surely Dupree is taking down. They're getting too close to his position. He's getting wildly close. He's getting away! Simple! Just like it was on Mirage in 2015. Just like Mask Map. He finds another knife. Jumps around and gets under the AWP. Simple is having a laugh. It looks like it's going to go 2-2, and he's got a whole lot of money from that one. It might just seem like a knife kill, and it's a bit of BM, but that gets inside your head. If Simple's trying those sort of plays, you've got to know that he means business here in this third and final map. Na'Vi get two rounds in a row. The knife play as well, I can't believe that. If I'm not mistaken, that, that was a very similar to when he jumped off of the balcony on Mirage. I think it was Nico on Mouse Sports that he knifed I that time. I think so, I think that sounds about right, yeah. Oh my God, who does that? No need, but uh, you love it all the same. You've got to respect it. Dupree painted into a corner. AWP misses the first two shots, and you know, Simple's like, you know what? Well, I might as well gut you while you're there. And it's Edward to actually get the first frag after a nice push from Glaive. Gave Astralis the advantage. And then Simple, once he gets himself on the box, jumps around, nails the first stab. Dupree has to go for the no scope at that point. Doesn't work out. It's not a big deal. It's not like you have much about that, but still, it all counts. It adds to the drama, the pageantry of the grand final and Magus will be the only player of a rifle here he's got the AK-47 but he's been tagged up at the start he goes down to 30 where he's crossing the doors Dupree will now take the AK and he has got Kevlar so that is a good swap if he had nothing probably not even worth it but he'll see what he can do now and see if he can recover after his disappointing finish to round number four Glaive heading down to the tunnels just to check it out so again, a very forward stance from the CTs. These pistols, they've got position. So he's making a little bit of noise as well. He's going to pull the attention. I think that's going to be a oh, Maybe not. Zeus up to it. He reacts in time. I thought he might get caught off with his back turned, even the way that he was approaching the stairs. 
pre and away boost with AK. A little more potent than a pistol, which we normally see in this position. That flash just goes that deep. And actually, left the vision for Dupree, but he still gets away with one simple through the door, of course. Oh, my. And Sadigles again. Astralis have been so deadly with them, and it might not be enough. Unless Device finds a miracle shot here. He's trying desperately to take Flamey down, and it's not going to happen. How does he only hit Flamey once there? I know. It's incredible. It must have literally gone through his legs twice. Two of those shots looked on to me, but nonetheless, he'll collect what he can in terms of utility and the kit. Doesn't matter. Flamey takes the peak, stays aggressive, doesn't even want to give him a chance to set up. And now three to two. In favor of Na'Vi. What a game this could be. I want to see this go the distance. I want to see both teams sweat. I want to see those huge clutches. I want to see those spawn plays. I want to see some more deagle action from Mages You want to see well. spawn play this time. This is a B-Rush. This is a B-Play. You're at least going to make con contact. You may not go all the way through the tunnels, but four players on that side, every matchmaker knows at this point you've got to at least go hold the angles and try and beat the CTs to position. Yeah. They may go. They may go on top of it. They're going to go all the way in. Electronic flash. One on window. Molotov there, but they're not accounting for Dupree to already be inside of the closet. And it's Dupree with a deagle. Finds two already, looking to try and swing out. He's got blinded players in front, but somehow can't find the headshot on the easiest one, perhaps. And Edward gets the response. That's why you don't really want to go on a tightest choke point on the map without running your default. It's not worth the risk, in my opinion, against a team like Astralis. Too much can go wrong, especially if you're not assertive. If one player goes down, you need to be in there. It's still a three on three. Great boost outside. You can see the flank coming from T-Spawn as well. This round is not over. Not at all. Window for a device. Bomb being planted behind triple so as to be safe from that angle. The device not really with the confidence as of yet or the information to peek in. But it's Majiskin behind again. These Eagles, my goodness. Gets to an AK. He's going to try and take the echo. He wants to take Zeus's attention. That's why he's committing so many shots. In fact, gets the kill. He wanted his teammate to get inside of the window. Edward can't spray transfer fast enough. Astralis are going to win this. And you're right, those trades go against them. Contact is one thing, committing is another. And Dupree takes down two immediately. It, I've said it must have been a million times this year. If you know your opposition's on an eco or a partial buy, you do not want to go into a quick B play. You need to run the defaults, you need information, you need to flush players out, you've got utility and range advantage, you're not using it. You're actually working with the Deagle and its strengths at that point with one tap potential and no trades at such a narrow choke point. Dupree, yes, those are godlike shots, but it's so avoidable. You need to make sure there's a chance for you to actually get in there and make things uncomfortable for him. Astralis, do it again with the Desert Eagles, and we go three to three. Na'Vi still have cash. You've got $9,000 on Flamey, 7K on Simple, but gutted. They will be feeling after that one. 93% win rate on Dust2 this year on land. Now, that does not bode well. That's a small sample size exactly. in comparison to many of the maps that they play, but it just goes to, I mean, I'm sure, what's their win rate on every map? aside from train at this point like it's it's gonna be high right astralis has been winning absolutely everything what a way to end the year this would be they've already won the intel extreme grand slam not intel extreme masters the intel grand slam being four from 10 events that were involved in that through the esl brand keep in mind as well they did in nine they didn't go to one of the events along that way yes now you've got Blast. It would be their second Blast of the year. The Major on top of it. What can't they win? But I'll be one to end the year with a second Blast of their own and a good way to head to the holidays and prepare for next year, 2019. What a year it will be. Zipix takes out Flamey to start things off. Yeah, one of the most exciting and fascinating years, I think, for CS history. 2018 has been a wild ride. Astralis certainly showing their dominance throughout, but we've got some fantastic storylines for 2019, that's for sure. Zipex, he'll take another in this round. That's his second as he holds long and falls back to his teammates as well. That's how you play long. Show presence there. Scare them off, find some kills, and you can see Zeus doesn't even want to challenge that. Can't take the risk, but Electronic with a chance here with the Krieg in hand. Wanted to convert that one. It's Dupree on the secondary orb now that gets tagged up. But still a five versus three. Turtling up. That's what you want to be doing at this stage. Run the clock down as much as you possibly can. Use the utility smart and make sure the Na'Vi don't have any sort of access point. Zeus already out inside of mid. Simple's going to join him. Zeus actually makes contact spots. But just inside the window. No, does better than that. I'm impressed with Zeus this event. Looking sharp. Not so much on the last map, in fairness. And Cash was completely missing on that, but he shows again the area. He's up to the task of taking straight duels and winning them. Finds a second one this round, a headshot on his Ipix.
Device waits on the A site. The last line of defense, but there is a rotation in. The oh double my. kill. It drops a nuke on Short, and now Simple left with three kills to find and only 20 seconds to do it. Surely there's no chance as he jumps around the corner. Glaive is waiting for him. What a wombo combo that was. The HG orb shot into two of them. Down they go. Any ideas they had of making their way towards the A site completely shut down. As we go four to three, that was another buy from Navi, remember? And they don't really have the cash to operate with here. It's averaging at about two and a half thousand dollars, the most of which 3,600 on Play Me. But this was my favorite play. Zipex gets those two kills, and a lot of players will be tempted to overcommit at that point. They might challenge for a bit more and get flashy and try and get the highlight clip. He goes back to his teammates, he guarantees victory. And that's the kind of play that makes your team world champions. Zipex burrowed into the corner, waiting for a commitment. Man, that's going to be Dupree's job with the fishing rod, hook, line, sinker, live bait. And get them inside of the doorway to help his teammate. Up against pistols. Leads out the shots. Really just keeping the distraction. As they run the ward mid, they run the ward mid. Yes, third for him. Clinical, left, right, left, right. He's in a marching formation and he's got four. He's looking for an ace. His oh, teammates right. are going oh. down. Simple. Oh, they're going and they're going down fast! He's got the AWP picked up, but the aim punched the factor. If he had hit the shot on Glaive as well, my god, what a round of steal. That could have been the craziest player of the tournament. Oh my god, when the orb came out, I was believing. I was all in on that. Well, a sign of things to come, perhaps. 5-3. Still not running away with it, but looking much more confident. It's going to be Astralis getting their fifth. It looked like that round was done, but all of a sudden, here he comes, the man himself, in a five-on-one. He gets three kills, almost managed to get himself in a position where he could have got a few more, but there it is. Back towards long we go as Edward not going to be waiting or approaching the challenge directly, actually waiting for the utility here, it seems, as this is a, a classic Dust2 default now. Double mollies down inside of the... Cave position at long, one to clear the door, one to push them all the way out of it, and that allows Glaive to cross over comfortably. In fact, he's going to push through. I thought he was outside of the door. Is the shadow still as prominent as it yes. used to be? So that's the problem for them. You have to flash it if you're going to go in late, just like that. There it is. But even the shadow of the flash shows. Yep. I mean, it, 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 shadows are a problem, I'm going to say it. It's 128 tick matchmaking, free for axe, fixed shadows, increased burst fire on the FAMAS. That's my Christmas list. And it cast a voice back. Zeus. And sorry? Cast a voice back. Yes. Yeah, cast your voice back. That's <laughs> number yeah, one. Yeah, actually, first. that's number one. Yes, I like money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a very easy round here for Astralis. And you are right. The problem is that you can flash that. That's not a pop flash. Though. That's a right click flash, which yeah. is very easy to avoid. If your teammates flash you in, however, that's what you call a, a pop flash, and you can actually take down Glaive. That was just not the correct approach, I would say. Either way, Electronic will get at least one frag here at this point. That's two free going down. There's actually a small chance if he nails his shot on the creek. Oh my god, does he ever? There's a chance now the bomb can be planted. No, but Simple actually left the bomb for him because he had the AWP he wanted to pick toward long, and then he got taken down by a nade. Now Simple's left alone to try and plant. I think the nade would have killed him either way, to be fair, but it just bought a bit more time for Astralis to rotate in. Shinbone shows he thought he was further down, and Zipix too close for Simple's comfort. Makes it 6-3. to three. Astralis on the CT side, looking comfortable as we might have expected so far. I think you might be right there. Three players survive again, but the bomb has been planted at least. In terms of loss bonus, that's fourth stage. They're averaging uh, just under 4K per player. That's enough for AK armor, one smoke each. I would not say you buy up in this one. It's still early stage. You consider it's the best of one now with the two maps already gone by. This decides it all. You want to make sure that you're winning your gun rounds. You don't want to be relying on deagles and SMGs and uh, a mixed bag. Is AK armor is enough, but. I'm not sure buying is the correct decision right here. We'll see what they decide to do. It is going to be Deagles and CZ, so I'm pleased about that. It means they have a few more lives in the future to convert gun rounds. That's what you want to see. Very classic orb spot here from Device. Shouldn't have a problem here. Gets that one kill. Gets the hell out of there. His teammate joins him as well. At this point, it's just a shooting gallery. Three kills with the AWPs and Simple and Zeus. Surely can't get himself out of this mess. It's going to out just Zeus. So... Whatever they had in mind for the play towards low, I completely destroyed at that point. Shots attempts. Zipix takes down Zeus. Seven to three. Astralis on fire, indicating that they've won five rounds in a row. So Navi, the pressure starts to mount. They've got guns this time based on the bonus. 
Let's see if they can make it work. Device getting aggressive. Double ops starting to work. Even defending one another to get them back outside of middle and Dupree very fast. Well, there we go. As we mentioned, this is the final map of 2018 at this level of CSGO. It's a shame to see a lead, but I think at this point, we could all do with a break. There's been so much high octane action, so much brilliance yes, throughout the year. Let's hope this map delivers on all fronts. And we can prepare for the major. Which will be the next big one. We'll see. Blave waiting along now. He's defending. They're not even checking that position. This is more reminiscent of what I saw last week against Liquid. They have so many oversights, but they can still bring this one back. This shot has to connect, though. It looks like a double kill, potentially. Glaive will take one from the grave as it goes three on two. Zeus down at 33. Majisk. It's electronic. Pretty much is it. Zeus. Goes back for the bomb. AWP for Zeus in a clutch situation. I don't think I've ever said that before. So let's just, just dissect that quickly. You, you're not going for the fast long take, right? You've waited 20 oh, seconds. Dear. I'll talk about this. You've waited 20 seconds for the round to begin. Allow the CDs to get in position. You've then executed towards long, which is fine. You've got a long retake. You're trying to take control, push the CDs back. If you're doing that, though, you need to go in together. Edward was about 10 meters in front of his teammates. He doesn't check the standard positions like this. This, that is a guaranteed look. You have to check the close range angles. You'll at least have a teammate with you with the synergy to come round together. One second blue bin. You're checking the corner, you're checking the pit, you're working as a unit. It's not one player goes down, wait for the call, give it three seconds and try and take him down. That's not the way you're going to be in Astralis. You need to be quick on the trigger. You need to make sure you're trading out those kills and using what I would say at points have superior aim on the Na'Vi side. Electronic and simple on their day can definitely go pound for pound with Astralis. And they're just not demonstrating that on Dust2. And that really is a problem. They picked this last week and they lost 16-2, I think it was. And they're running out of time at this point. Astralis is just in cruise control as we get into another pistol-only situation. Na'Vi who just sees Ed and a scout. Time running out. Yeah, time's certainly going to be a problem for them at this point. Getting the nine for Astralis, even on the CT side, it, it's such a large order to try and come back from that. They won the lead. They close out on the lead on overpass. They never were able to mount the comeback on cash despite having the pistols to start it off. Dupree, just to check back toward mid. I think he may have spotted Simple inside a suicide that time, so flash out to make sure of it gets the angle. He absolutely did. What a play from Dupree. Love that. Flash over, take his vision away from the angle for a split second, blow his head off. That's the way it's done. And the bomb is down. He might be on for a third here as well. There's his second. His teammate will help him out as he gets dinked. This is looking brutal from Astralis. Supreme's on 16 kills. He's absolutely slaughtering them. And it's mostly on the secondary off. Oh, what a solid performance so far. Yeah, the fix gets back down inside of mid. He's got the M4 to work with. And work he might do. Like a dental drill trying to fire through the door. Do they fire through doors? No, but they're the most painful drill in the world. <laughs> I guess so. You have a point. Goddamn dentist. And then they trick you, they say, oh, what a great checkup today. Here's some sugar-free gum so you can get more cavities and come back and do it again, kid. <laughs> it's all a conspiracy. Yeah, it is. Anders, get government. on that conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a five on two. Nothing Na'Vi can do here. If they get a bomb down, that is a victory in its own right, if you ask me. They'll try and make their way up. The nade successful lands on Edward, but Zipex, he won't let anyone pass towards the side of looks. He'll be going for jumping shots here. It's actually Glade that finishes off Edward with the HE. 15 seconds remaining, might sound weird, but Flamey just wants to die at this point. He needs the cash, and indeed, Astralis, in more ways than one, Matthew, are on fire. Yeah, they're absolutely killing it right now. That's seven rounds in a row from 2-3 to 9-3. Yeah, this is a lovely play, though, wasn't it? The flash over. Just so sick. The, the, the fingers under it didn't flash him. That's not my point. The fact he had to, like, duck away for one second to avoid the flash, and then you're there on the repeat, that's why it's such a sick play. It, it's strictly to win the angle, right? Yeah. You know it's op versus op at that point. He saw him in, in suicide. We called that when he crossed over, so... And yeah, Dupree's thinking one step ahead on that one. Glaive, he might be one step ahead of Edward. 
Oh, he's one step behind him. Oh, but he's actually not considered. He thought he checked the back of the yeah. smoke. Little did he know that Edward was actually fully concealed. That creates a problem. Fast play toward Cat. Dupree's going to have to be perfect once again. He's got support down below in the form of Sipix, who hits the first. That gives Dupree a chance. Headshot position. Oh, my goodness. How precise are these guys? Every single shot seems to work. All on Edward. Wonders three. He's removed. Ten, three, eight in a row for Astralis. They get the advantage. I, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to capitalize upon it and get up together or trade out a kill. But the, the lack of flashes, the lack of smokes, you can see device, he got flashed for maybe two seconds. And that's just a shooting gallery for a player of his caliber, ready to go. You can see that we're watching it. This is his POV as he plays it, right? He is not flashed and they're running into his crosshair one by one. It's the same problems they had as, uh, yes, you've got the advantage, try and capitalize upon it, but that face really does say it all. They're, they're really running out of gas on the Na'Vi side. Don't have much left. It feels like Astralis will close things out in such a poetic way. Not only did they get the Grand Slam last week, they'll take the final trophy of the year. That's the way it looks right now. If we can get 10-5 for Na'Vi, maybe there's a chance they bring it back, but with this buy, I'm not sure it's gonna be finding them success. Two AKs, Deagles, and a UMP, and they are fully invested. Edward waiting to see if anyone's going to push through at this point. I suppose you've got to hope for a little bit of luck on their side. But I don't think Astralis are going to give up too many chances like that to get free kills. In front of the truck. Tronic ducks in behind the box. Just no vision toward him. Top goes down on the stairs instead. towards Catwalk. Well, they stalled it for a moment, but there's not really pressure on that position. 45 seconds, of course, just trying to buy out the remaining time. Puts some pressure on that guy quickly, which they're gonna try and get for Fatal. Too quickly, it seems, but just, oh, he's so wow. controlled. Finds three yet again. So, so many multiple spray downs already in this half. Yeah, well, they put themselves in the plate and uh, they'll devour them at that point. It's gonna be another kill. They try a beast flip. I'm not even sure you call it that, but Flamey now, Three versus one has to be perfect, but he can't do anything with it. They left themselves a thousand dollars per player there. They invested what they could. It's another very similar situation. AKs, Galils, barely anything to work with. You can see they're making calls at the start of the round now. I can, I've been there before. It's just when nothing's working, it's like, boys, go for the mid split. They're pushing through with no flash again. There's, the smoke hasn't even bloomed, and they're just hoping someone go, goes off. You need to flash those positions against star players, otherwise they'll punish you like that. This is where you start to wonder as well. The perma ban gets left in against Na'Vi. They're not able to pick it up. Or rather, against the Charles from Na'Vi, if you know what I mean, with cash. Yeah. They went on overpass, but... You're not going to see train. Nuke, they ban out because they know they can't. Well, they presume that they can't beat it. Sure. You get to dust too. The other option was Mirage, but it's Astralis that has the upper hand in the veto because they're the top seed. You're starting to see the lack of depth for Na'Vi in some ways. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the, the way they approach this map at all. I, I feel like it needs a lot of work. It shouldn't be part of their, their map pool at all at this point. But uh, they picked it last week, it fell apart, and this could be a disappointing way to close out 2018 if they can get nothing done here at all. They had one nice spree of rounds, three of them. And at that point, Astralis haven't even really looked challenged. I got a feeling Simple's got no idea. I think he's going down. Headshot, oh, he's looking Simple. I think he realized the crowd. They started to make a bit of noise, and he got a little anxious, but didn't know where to appear. And then suddenly, Device did appear with the Deagle in the side of his head. Flamey, he's gone as well, he's dead. Sipix with the kill. And we're in a one versus five. It's been not even close, not even convincing. And that's how the half will end at 12 to three. 10 rounds in a row for Astralis. And yet again, close to picking up another trophy in 2018. I've lost count as to how many it will be at this point in time. Pretty much all of them since April onward, to be honest. What seems to be a common trend in CS these days, a team looks ready to go, they've got momentum behind them, they're ready, they call a B-Rush map, they run into a Deagle stack and it all goes wrong, and that pretty much was it for Simple & Co, wasn't it? Once that round came in, I, I can't really remember them doing anything else after that. It seemed like that was the turning point, and they get nothing after it, they just ran out of everything. The strategies went out the window, the firepower dropped off, they don't get this pistol, I think we know who our champions are going to be. Let's see what they can do here. Bomb still down at T-spawn, but Astralis have got long control. It's electronic to defend. His aim has been great. He deserves to get this deep into this map and really feel the pressure. Apply it to Astralis. 
And as we'll see now, the bomb picked up. It's making its way towards the B side. Flamey's there alone. They've actually pulled over four players towards the A side. Electronic realizes that they've got one in the pit. Simple's gonna come over to try and help him find that shot, but th that's fine, that's distraction. You're bringing a rotation down catwalk, you're bringing one through CT. Electronic gets the shot, that's the signal to be. Flamey has to hold them off. Waiting desperately, finding shots, waiting for his teammates to rotate. Zeus can get there, Zeus goes straight into the door oh, with absolutely no support. Majisk <sighs> and Dupree. Edward at least gets one back. One, one is not enough. Go. Simple's got the other. That certainly helps it because they've got the advantage. Bomb is still down, however, and lurking inside the middle device is found. Dupree's the only one left. Tries to isolate, has to reload, and Navi keep this game going for a little bit longer. That's what they needed, Flamey. It looked like that round was done. He couldn't connect the shots. The pressure coming in from the tunnels. It was a nice fake there. Dust 2 allows you to do that. You can get long control relatively easy, especially on a pistol round. If you flash the CTs off and get a player towards the pit, then you've got presence. You can take vision away. But Electronic, very, very assertive at this point. He made sure he kept doing damage and making sure they couldn't push up and pincer him from shore. It funnels him in towards B. That was the objective from Astralis from the very beginning. Flamey failed. Zeus went down as well. But all of a sudden, the kills came in as Simple arrived on the scene. It was a great retake, and now Astralis have decided to force by here in the second round. Has damage been done? It has not. It looked close, but Dupree's got that AK, and he is hungry for Frax here. He knows he's got an advantage. It's unlikely there's an M4 on the other side. As now, they'll make their way out. Are they going to fall back and go for short control? That's a very common approach. You want to get your skeleton towards the pit, fall back, retake short, and then go for that pincer we discussed before. But let's see if Device can maybe detect a player behind the car, which is very wall bangable, by the way. It's paper thin, that old automobile. It's a rusty old thing. Rust. Is one thing, protection is another. It does offer some, but not enough, it seems. Zipix just fires over the hood. Makes simple a hood ornament for that matter. This is spray up on top of the site, does device, but he's actually just going to allow Zipix to get closer. Claim he's still holding on to this. It's the fourth map from Stralis, and it's actually looking promising. Oh, not the fact that Edward's given up his position now. They know where he is, they can flash him off. He's got to reload at this point. He's got another orc, that's always handy, but still has to reload that one. Bomb will be planted, presumably for a long side, and how does he do anything with this? Yeah, how do you get out of here? It's, it's such a tough position. And now he's focused on Car the peak. Oh, I thought Glaive was just going to straight peek him. Could come in, he was aware of it. Jumps for information, but they don't have to move. He seems to be fully convinced there's still one at the car, and that could be to his benefit, because if he overlooks that position, as soon as he crosses out to the ramp, that's when he gets peaked and seemingly doesn't, because that's exactly what happens. Round stolen back, Astralis three away from another trophy. Well, there we have it. Excellent work at that point. Astralis after getting the bomb down in the pistol. So we talked about these second round approaches. The bomb does get planted. It gives you a huge cash injection. No, you cannot get five AKs, but a couple of rifles can come out. Players like Dupree, that long spawn, get that control early. Hit your headshots aware of the positioning towards car. You can see that's a well-drilled team on Dust2 who are ready to check angles and make sure they go through all the notes required. But still, we get into it. It is going to be a force by a zoom and Na'Vi will lose the first player and it's simple the talisman of the team to be dropped Zeus gets boosted or rather boosted up excuse me electronic one or the other six of one half dozen of a baker's dozen of the other Zipix wants to work up toward the car smokes go down there's two of them Counter smoke means they've got to go wide. It also means that you can boost up elevator and not be spotted doing it, but the headshot still shows. And Zipix able to immediately identify and address that problem. A little easily solved. Question perhaps knowing its answer, as the pistols didn't offer much of a fight. They'll back it away and over toward B. They'll hold on to their armor and perhaps pray. Collective prayer. It's going to take a miracle at this stage. CZ's a deagle. A Christmas miracle. A Christmas miracle would be very fitting indeed. But uh, whether it can be delivered, I, 
That's another question. D3 might give up a scout here, but that's the discipline we're talking about. I mean, the guy us. can get around the entire world with a couple of reindeer and a sleigh. I think it could probably be delivered, Henry. Uh, he does a pretty good job. It's not bad. He's dropped off in the last couple of years. I haven't really received much. Oh, dear. But, uh, Let's not get too personal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see where he steps up this time. It will be three players surviving. Maybe not Zeus. He'll get this friend. <laughs> My screen. Oh, uh, and he went down. He went down. It was a very awkward exchange. Flaming got device back. I'll tell you that much. You can see it on the big screen, on the screen, within the screen. You gotta kill uh, those, man. You gotta, yeah, that's. You gotta kill those. You just gotta. <laughs> he sits at 5 and 17. I started to big him up at the start of this game, and I apparently am mistaken. I think that puts him at something like nine kills over the last two maps. Four in a second, yeah. Um. <clears throat> we'll look at the positives, though. Um, right now. Not many of them. They're force board again. This is, this is done, man, I'm afraid. This is just over, isn't it? Astralis aren't giving this game up now. Not at this rate. Zeus gives himself up again. We just go out the doorway. Dupree finds Electronic, and you might as well just count him down with me. Two rounds, three kills to find. Those are your numbers we're counting. Sesame Street, the letter brought to you by A, or the letter is A for Astralis, whatever you want to go with. Zipix behind the car. Shoot into the smoke and hope for another kill. There's two there. Waiting to flash out. Edward wants to get himself back in position. Zipix somehow spots back away. And it's Apex behind and above the smoke. Just waiting. He's removed. One to go. Just one. One more round for 2018. For what has been one of the most dominant years in Counter Strike history by perhaps the most dominant team of all time. I absolutely agree. And what a stunning way to close it out as well. Pure dominance. Magus outclassing his opposition, and this is a problem for Na'Vi. Their map pool is in severe need of repair. They can't play cash. They, they can definitely not play dust too. This is twice now against top teams. They've been embarrassed on this map. Can they hold on for a couple more rounds? That's really all we have to talk about at this stage. You're great. They'll take down Edward, another one-on-one -on -one sort of challenge where he's got nothing. As we count down now until we'll crown our, cha our champions once again. That's going to be Astralis. Gotta be at this point. Simple. As always, we'll give it everything that he has, but Scout to work with still finds the first headshot. Nearly got the second on Cat. He's tagged though and re-peaking device with the same weaponry will hit him twice. Zeus. Fair play finds one with the Deagle on Catwalk. It's Dupree to go down the hot hand from Astralis. He sits on 25 kills, just no cap. Didn't quite see through. How is he alive? I don't know how he is. <laughs> absorbing all of the bullets, apparently, but finally. Glaive will kill off Flamey. And that opens up B. They rotation know. from Electronic Zeus. I don't have HP, but they're going to push. They actually know the rotation's coming in. You're right. They want to get directly in their face and close this. Forget bomb plants. It's all about position. Box for Ooh, Electronic couldn't find it. And that just signals the fact that he was there. And it signals the fact that he's likely boosted. This is it, Henry. Say goodbye to 2018. It's been one hell of a year. But in a very fitting fashion, your champions, ladies and gentlemen, Astralis have found the final trophy of the year. They knocked Na'Vi out of the park in the final man. They didn't even turn over Dust2. That was sensational and personifies how good these guys are. Unbelievable. We said it at a festival time last week. This backs it up. Na'Vi have nothing to say in that